Hello quizzers, learn something new today, here are, 50 fun facts, to tickle your brain. Here on, Artie's amazing world. A couple once tried to name their child, BRFXXCCXXM, NPCCCCLLLMMNP, RXVCLMNCKSS, QLVB11116, that was hard. Apparently, it is pronounced as, Albin. They had reportedly chosen the title to protest Sweden's strict name-related laws. I would like to name my child, Cha Men A Men A, 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 Waka Waka A, A, Cha Men A Men A, Zung A Leg Wa, A Na Wa, A, A, Hey, I love Shakira. Speaking of Shakira, when she was in second grade, she was rejected by the school choir because her vibrato was too strong. The music teacher told her that, she sounded like a goat. <laughs> While most countries around the world follow the Gregorian calendar, the Ethiopian calendar is seven years behind the rest of the world. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church believes Jesus Christ was born in 7 BC. Speaking of calendars, the Russians are also using a different calendar, the Julian calendar instead of the Gregorian. That is why in the 1908 Olympics in London, they showed up 12 days late. Japan's phone to call the dead. Public phone booths are already ancient these days, but there's one located in a Japanese hilltop garden that's especially unusual. The wind phone, it was created by Itaru Sasaki who thought it would heal him with the passing of his cousin. Though it is a one-sided conversation, others now also use the phone in order to feel closer to their late loved ones. Cows moo in regional accents. There are language experts that suggested that cows have accents just like humans. According to BBC, this phenomenon was detected by farmers who noticed that cows from different regions also have different moos. I guess cows in Australia goes, moo moo moo, mate, or in Canada. It goes, moo moo moo, eh? The US government actually has an official plan for a zombie apocalypse. You think zombies are fictional, well, technically, yes but there is nothing like being prepared in case it becomes a reality, right? This is called the Counter Zombie Dominance Plan, or Con Plan 8888-11 which was designed in 2011. I think I need to call on my government to have the same. Who knows? The US 50 star flag was designed by a high schooler. Yes, the design of the 50 star flag that we see today was designed by Bob Heft in 1958. It was a high school project which only garnered him a B- grade. However, the design was approved by President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Bob Heft's grade then was bumped to an A. McDonald's is an American fast food franchise that is almost in all parts of the world. Surprisingly, there is no McDonald's in Montpelier, Vermont. Imagine a city in the US with no McDonald's. Speaking of McDonald's, it is different in the Philippines. They have spaghetti in their menu and it is sweet. Oh, they also serve chicken with rice there. Oh, isn't it the clown in McDonald's is named Ronald McDonald? On November 28, 2005 in New Hampshire, a man named Ronald McDonald robbed Wendy's. It is not with food though but with money from the safe. Researchers found that the loudness of a monkey is relative to the size of its testicles. The smaller the testicles, the louder the monkeys. I know some who can be so loud. That could be the reason. Approximately 1 million dogs in the US are named as the heirs of their owner's wills. I just want to be a dog right now so I can be an heir to some fortune. Studies say animals yawn based on how large their brain is. The bigger the brain, the longer they yawn. Does stupid people ever yawn at all? During the cremation process, our body fat can cause a blaze. There is one crematorium that was set on fire in Austria in June 2012 when a 400-pound woman was cremated. Another fire occurred in West Virginia's Southside cremation in 2014 due to the same thing. Black teeth were a sign of wealth in 18th century England. Sugar was a valuable commodity. Because it was expensive, it was mostly enjoyed only by the rich. As a result, if someone had black teeth, a sign of eating too much sugar, they were considered to be wealthy. Scotland's national animal is the unicorn. In the 12th century, Scotland believed that unicorn was a real animal. However, in 1825, scientist Georges Cuvier disproved the existence of this mystical creature. But because the unicorn symbolizes nobility, purity, power, and good luck, it remains Scotland's national animal today. Arsenic was used as a beauty product. In the late 19th century, there were complexion wafers with arsenic which was claimed to get rid of freckles, blackheads, and other facial disfigurements. These are wafers that were meant to be eaten. Playboy has been publishing braille versions of its magazines since 1970. However, no pictorial representations are included, I just can't imagine the point though. Finger lickin' good was KFC's famous slogan, however, it had a bit of a mishap when translated to Chinese for their first KFC outlets in the country. The famous phrase became, eat your fingers off. The state vegetable of Oklahoma, is guess what, spinach.
Wrong. Lettuce? No. Broccoli? No. The answer is, watermelon. It's the fruit watermelon. According to a survey from the Innovation Center for U.S. Dairy, 7% of American adults think chocolate milk comes from brown cows. 7% of adult American population is roughly 16 million people. So, where's the pink milk from? Pink Panther? In New Jersey, it's illegal to wear a bulletproof vest while committing a violent crime. The thought of committing a crime though, why not just commit both for your safety? You will go to jail either way. A water drop ward is a highly poisonous plant. If it kills you, it can cause you to smile after you die. This is called a sardonic grin. Apple seeds, cherry apricot, and peach pits contain cyanide. Yes, the same thing that can kill you. However, it takes a large amount of each to actually make you sick or kill you. Before we proceed, I would like to request for your support. If you're enjoying this so far, please like the video, share it to your friends, and of course, subscribe. Let's get back to the fun facts. Do you know that there is an internal deodorant that makes it so your fart and poop don't stink? Devrom, the brand name for bismuth subgallate, can be used as an internal deodorant that makes your flatulence and bowel movements completely odor-free. Speaking of deodorizing your poop or fart, feeding curry to a sheep reduces the amount of methane in its farts by up to 40%. And in another fart fact, herring fish communicate by using flatulence. I wonder how they profess their love to one another. By farting to each other I suppose? There was a cat named Stubbs who was the honorary mayor of Taquitna, Alaska, from July 18, 1997, until his death in July 21, 2017. I also have a pet named Roger, a rabbit. I wonder if he has political ambitions too. November 17 is known as Unfriend Day. On this day, you should unfriend anybody who you don't know or speak to. Comedian Jimmy Kimmel founded Unfriend Day in 2014 to combat the growing trend of social media profiles collecting friends though they're not. There is a company in the UK that offers being hungover as a valid reason for calling off work. They are allotted four hungover days per year. I think I need to move to England. If you go further than North Pole, either going back or going further is technically going on the same direction. That means you are going south by going further north. Originally, the Eiffel Tower was going to be erected in Barcelona, Spain. Gustav Eiffel submitted his design to Barcelona. However, the project was rejected because citizens thought it would be an eyesore. The Victoria and Albert Museum in London displayed cheese made from the bacteria of celebrities. The museum displayed five types of cheese made from microbes collected from the armpits, ears, noses, and belly buttons of British celebrities. This got me thinking where the cheese in my cheeseburger this morning came from. Airplane food tastes better when eaten on land. This is because altitude can have an effect on our ability to taste things. According to a 2010 study conducted by Germany's Fraunhofer Institute for Building Physics, the dryness experienced at a high elevation as well as low pressure reduces the sensitivity of a person's taste buds by 30%. Dry cabin air also affects our ability to smell and our ability to taste is reduced further. Copper and its alloys, such as brass, has the ability to disinfect. Researchers found that copper-based alloy surfaces have the ability to destroy a wide range of microbes and bacteria relatively rapidly often within two hours or less. This process is called the oligodynamic effect. When we say iPhone, we immediately think it is from Apple. However, the first iPhone wasn't made by Apple. The first mobile device to be called an iPhone was made by Cisco, not Apple. Apple was 22 days late in releasing their own iPhone. America accidentally dropped an atom bomb in Mars Bluff, South Carolina, in March, 1958. During the flight, the pilots of a B-47 plane accidentally released the emergency pin, and the bomb dropped to the ground. Good thing. The critical part of the bomb that sets it off was still on the plane, so it never exploded. Queen Elizabeth II's cows sleep on waterbeds. It is disclosed that the royal dairy cows at Windsor are so well treated they sleep on waterbeds to keep them happy and comfortable. There are tumors known as teratomas, which can grow their own teeth, bone muscle, and hair. Bone is a living tissue, which means that every seven years you have a new skeleton. You need collagen to replenish the bones. This means the set of bones you have now is different from the bones you have before. <coughs> On average, humans fart enough in a day to fill up a party balloon. That's a lot of farts. <coughs> Speaking of farts, in March 2017, 
an Australian engineer once sued his ex-boss for farting on him. David Hingst sued his ex-boss for repeatedly farting on him in his former job. He sought 1.8 million Australian dollars or 1.28 million US dollars worth in damages. The case was thrown out by the Supreme Court of Victoria. Justice Rita Zamet found that even if the farting occurred, it would not necessarily amount to bullying. You can get seriously harmed by a sneeze. A variety of injuries can occur during a sneeze like broken ribs, throat damage, etc. Holding it can potentially lead to the rupturing of a brain aneurysm. A male honeybee's ejaculation is so strong it makes his genital explode, killing him. I guess no sex is preferred in the bee kingdom. In 1969, Arizonian lawyer Russell T. Tanzi filed a suit against God on behalf of his secretary, Betty Penrose, seeking $100,000 in damages. This is due to God allowing a lightning bolt to strike her house. She won the case by default since God was absent during the hearing. In 2007, Nebraska State Senator Ernie Chambers also sued God seeking a permanent injunction against God's harmful activities. The suit was dismissed though because God could not be properly notified, not having a fixed address. Lobsters pee out of their faces. Even more interesting, they do this as a way to attract mates. Oh, that's literally going so, so, kinky. Dolly Parton once entered a Dolly Parton look-alike contest. The one with the biggest applause from the audience would win. So one by one, the contestants paraded in front of the audience. When it came to Parton's turn, she smiled and sashayed across the stage. To her surprise, she lost to a drag queen. There are more than 200 languages that have been invented just for television or movies. There's Elvish from Lord of the Rings, Parcel Tongue from Harry Potter, Valyrian from Game of Thrones, just to name a few. What other invented language do you know? Put it in the comments below. Well, that's 50 fun facts. I would like to invite you to see more of my videos. Click both videos below.